previously on the inventory. Now I can't tell you who to believe or who not to believe. All I can do is ask. My name is Airwaves, we are the inventory, and we're not going anywhere. <clears throat> hmm, this, this tea is a little different than usual. Why am I feeling so funny? Get him out Come of here! Come on, King let's go! Come on, let's go! Now I want whoever it was that poisoned the tea to speak up so we can find out who is behind us. I see how it is. Well, looks like I'll have to find out who did this myself. I want to know why you put po poison joke in my tea! Yeah, that wasn't me. Sorry, but I've been working with the equipment all morning. Name's Freelance. Uncoverer of the Undercover. Seems the Orange has pegged you as some sort of conspirator, and I'm here to prove it, one way or the other. Freelance. Yeah, I've heard of him before. He works for any paper that'll take him and will resort to any means necessary to fulfill his employer's needs. It only takes one charismatic voice to fool an entire nation and cause all kinds of panic. Hey, stop putting words in my mouth. I refuse to allow you to slander me on my own program. Why are you so persistent in doing this to me? I've been given a mission, and I'm going to carry it out no matter which ponies get in my way. After all, you might have a saboteur in your midst. And now for the continuation of the inventory on KPNY. Okay, Hardcover, I'm just going to ask you flat out. Did you put Poison Joke in my tea? Nope. Nope. That's it? That's it. Do you have any idea who did? No. Well, maybe you can help <laughs> Oh, Rarity, you're horrible. Uh, hardcover, please be serious. If you know something, you need to tell me. Sorry, but I don't know anything. I mean, yes, you're right. I, I love practical jokes, but in all honesty, I never found Poison Joke to be that funny. One time I accidentally caught it and it made me dyslexic. It was horrible! I'd never want something that cruel to befall any pony. Look, if it will make you feel any better, I'll ask around and help you find out who did it. Oh, hey, how about that uh, reporter freelance from the Manhattan Orange? He's pretty suspicious. But he didn't arrive until a short while ago. And if neither you nor sound effects poisoned my tea, then who in the world did? Uh, Cece would never do such a thing like that. It'd be detrimental to the show. Cover story doesn't seem like the type, although I wouldn't put it past fairy tale. Ha! Huh. This is so frustrating. Yeah, I know what you mean. She obviously doesn't appreciate Spike enough. Hardcover, has anyone ever told you you have the attention span of a toothless alligator? She's here! Who? Who? What? Where? What happened? Is there Nightmare Moon attacking? Santa thinks you better have the boost to replace that door if you broke it. Oh my god, she's here. She's here. <laughs> She's here. She's here. She's here. What are you talking about, sound effects? She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. <laughs> Good. Maybe we'll have finally have a chance. What do you mean have a chance? Oh my gosh. You're right. When she speaks, every pony listens. She's here. She's here. Not even freelance will be able to get away with it. Sound effects, calm down. Okay. Come on, guys. Who's her? Oh, I just asked Curtin Call to send word to a special friend of mine from my older days as a sports broadcaster. Ooh, a special friend, huh? Oh, Airway, you dog, you. She said she listened to the KPNY special report on bronies, and it was, in her words, totally pissed off. She's willing to lend us a hoof with our PR problem. Come on, guys, just tell me who it is, please, 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 please. Just, just sit back and watch, my friend. Ah, uh, yeah! Welcome, every pony and every brony, to a very special edition of the Inventory here on KPNY Radio, Ponyville's Radio. And if you're not listening to KPNY Radio, then odds are you're probably just not listening to the radio. We have an entertainment-packed show for you today, including another presentation on another brony musician presented by our very own Sound Effects. Not only that, but stay tuned for later in the broadcast, where we have a very special guest who will talk to us about her thoughts on the brony movement. Next to me in the booth. Awesome. Uh, sound, effects. <laughs> sound effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. <laughs> Calm down. I, I get. Um. I'm fine now. I guess. You okay. Good. Yeah. I'm good. Sure. You good? Pretty sure. 
Uh, anyway, like I was saying, we do have a very special guest on the program tonight, but before that, we do have a very talented brony musician whose works we'd like to share with all of you. Sound effects, if you would please. Right, of course. <clears throat> well, today I wish to talk about Error 404. Now, I figured this guy must be at the pinnacle of popularity because whenever I derp the name of a site up on the infinite, his name pops up. <laughs> yeah, fancy that. Okay, so what drew me to this artist first was his massive library. And by my glorious wings does this guy have a dragon's horde of house music in his library. Wings? For the last time, sound effects. Unicorn. Horn. Magic. No flying. You're not an alicorn, okay? Capiche? No thanks, I already ate. Ah. Uh, now then, sound effects. Why don't you please explain to our listeners what you mean by house? <coughs> Well, house music originated in the city of Chicago around 30 years ago. The genre itself is classified by the use of 4-4 four, four beats, rhythms mainly provided by drum machines, off-beat hi-hat cymbals, and a large usage of synthesized bass lines. There are many sub-genres of house, many of which I'll be featuring on the show today, such as Electro House, Progressive House, and Dutch House. Uh, Nigel, you completely lost me. I'm sound effects. I don't know who this Nigel Pony is, but anyway, house in layman's terms is when the speakers occasionally go wub wub and make electric noises. And now you know. Uh, did, did what? Did anyone else hear? Uh, anyway, I think I understand now. So, what are some examples of Error Four or Four's house? Okay, well, first off, we have this track called Morning Flight. It's upbeat and really gets you pumped to dance. The song itself is a tribute to my favorite Wonderbolt, Spitfire. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I do love the Wonderbolts. All right, let's hear it. house. Yes and no. That particular piece of Electro House, and as its name states, it's a fusion of Electro and House, a popular sub in the massive genre of House. It uses prominent bass lines, short yet high-pitched riffs, and has a quick BPM, or beats per minute, coming in around 130. Some DJs experimented with this at the Coachella Music and Arts Festival, which I recently attended, and it was wicked awesome, bruh. Huh. Uh... I really like it. it. Makes me want to just uh, get up and dance. Oh, you don't say. Well, I don't like to brag, but uh, I was known to pull off one heck of an impressive boogaloo back in the day. Oh, for the love of Cadence, for your own sake, don't go into a club anywhere in Equestria if you want to keep a shred of dignity. <laughs> well, uh, how about we just keep listening to the next song instead, huh? <sighs> Fine. Okay, so what style is that called again? Electro House? Not exactly. In fact, that was an example of Progressive House. So, Progressive House uses more trippy and trancey sounds induced by the use of a synthesizer, while adding and removing different tracks to create the progression. Adding tracks? Oh, I get it! So the song progresses as it goes! Yeah, pretty much, but... <laughs> What's wrong, sound effects? <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Seemed rather stumped. I swear to Cadence that I had a perfect example of an earth band that the Bronies could use to relate to Error's work, but the name escapes me now. I know I've been researching a lot of the groups, both Brony and non-Brony, to make the name out. How many bands do you actually listen to? On top of my regular music? I conservatively say about all of them. <laughs> 
What's sad is that's uh, <laughs> probably true. You've certainly shown off your impressively vast knowledge of musical genres. I'm really quite impressed. Thank you. Thank you. Being the supreme... Sound effects? Of... No. <sighs> Celestia, I miss my tea. This coffee will have to make do for now. Radio has its perks. Oh, which reminds me. I have one more song. I wasn't sure of playing it at first, but I had a, uh, a little sip of your coffee this morning and it increased my cognitive thinking. And uh, I think we should. Mm. <sighs> ah, my coffee! There is nothing sacred in this booth! First my tea and then this horrible coffee! Mm. <sighs> Sound effects. So you said you have one more song you want to share with us. Indeed I do. And this one's called Let's Spin This S. Spin This S? Yeah, that's that's what it says. I mean, followed by some funny dots that look like some full scroll over the letters. Uh, you mean asterisks. Oh, sweet Celestia. It'll be a miracle if I keep my job after this. So, the song's that good, huh? Oh yeah, it's amazing. Very well. Let's hear it. Let's spin this new So this type of house is called Dutch House, yet another one of the many subgenres of house. Dutch is similar to Electro House, but it differs from it by using complex rhythms of drum kits, low bass emphasis, and high-pitched and pronounced synths. Ah, this is getting a little complex for me. I have to admit, I'm having a hard time keeping up. How do you know all this stuff? I'm just that good. Well, yes, thank you, Sound Effects, for this very educational presentation. No problem, any time. Any pony who loves dancing up in clubs or just likes to relax to some sweet sound should definitely give Air 4 a 4 to listen to. He has a library of over 30 songs, including both original works and some amazing remixes. Very amazing. But anyway, it is time to take a short commercial break. And when we return, we will be graced with the presence I'm of- I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, how do I look? Is my horn on straight? Does my breast smell nice? It smells good, okay, no spinach smell. Quick, son, go grab my tail straightener! Uh, use a tail straightener? Well, technically it's not mine, it's Cece's. Um, we'll be right back. We'll be right back after some music and several short messages from our sponsors.
This is an emergency alert broadcast from KPNY. We would like to inform every pony that the unidentified flying object currently hovering in the sky has been identified as a flying saucer from the Brony Invasion Fleet. We advise all citizens to panic, loot, and create general anarchy in the streets. Wait, no, I'm getting a correction. Citizens are urged to trot, not gallop to the nearest exit. This has been a test of the Brony Invasion Alert system. Had this been an actual invasion, your radios would have probably been stolen by now. Again, this is just a test of the KPNY emergency alert system. This is your local news and KBNY, and I'm your local correspondent, Press Release. Huge recall from the manufacturer Mainstream and their number one product, the Industrial Strength Hair Dryer. Reports indicate usage of the oversized hair dryer to cause coat loss. Tune in and find out what you should do in case you use the oversized appliance. Details at 11. I'm Press Release. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. Listen up, the Manhattan Orange has more blank space than suggested by equestrian guidelines. This means that there's less to read and thus more time for you. Free time is a luxury these days, so don't waste it. Subscribe to the Manhattan Orange, the juiciest stories in town with all the filler cut out. Buy one today, or I'll have my uncle break your knees. Welcome back, every pony, to the inventory on KPNY Radio where I am very pleased to introduce a very special guest here joining us on the show today. She has been a very good friend of mine for many long years and is currently the host of the popular show Just Scratching the Surface here on KPNY Radio. Yes, Everypony, let me introduce you to the very famous, world-renowned DJ Pone 3. What's up, Ponyville? This is DJ Pone 3 live on the inventory on KPNY Radio. Ponyville's radio. If you're not listening to KPNY radio, then you're not listening to the radio. <laughs> I could not have said it better myself. It's good to see you again, Miss Scratch. Dude, call me vinyl. And yeah, it's great to be here, Airwaves. When I heard you needed some help, I jumped right on the chance to back you up. Thank you, vinyl. And I'm pretty sure you've already met my wonderful co-host, Sound Effects. Hey, man, what's up? 
I have a shrine of you. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's great. Good for you. You are my favorite DJ of all time. Uh, that's cool. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, Vinyl, what brings you to our uh, program today? Uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, I, I said, what brings you here today? Oh, right. Well, you see, it all started when I listened to that interview you gave over the news. And I just couldn't believe what that old geezer press release was saying about you. He was spreading nothing but two-bit lies, like some kind of putrid diamond dog. Are uh, you sure it's okay for you to be saying that kind of stuff about our uh, own station, though? Oh, please. Boss Pony would be up against an angry mob if he fired me. So it got me thinking about these bronies. Personally, I think the whole idea is wicked awesome. The way they idolize us like that, I totally dig it. And then when I found out that the music you've been playing in the middle of the show was produced by them? Wicked mind blow! So I got so curious that I was able to whip up a little favor from your boy sound effects here, and he let me browse through the QED and do some research. Oh, it was no problem. Yeah, he was... he was easy to manipulate. <laughs> uh, you can kind of see that. So, uh, Vinyl, what did you find? Huh? What did I find? Oh! Only the sweetest mountain of talent in the universe, that's what! Seriously, how can any pony badmouth these people? Just listen to them! They got acoustic, rock, techno, and some seriously sick wub action. They even got some classical, if that's your thing. I sent some samples to a friend in Canterlot who specializes in that kind of stuff. I kept the whole alien thing on the DL, and she loved it. And let me tell you, she can get a bit uptight if you know what I'm saying. So in your eyes, the bronies aren't a bunch of uh, evil aliens trying to take over Equestria with their portrayed invasion fleet and all? I don't know. That might actually be pretty cool. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The, the bronies are tight. Even if they were to come here, I, I think it could only bring good things, you know? Plus, I'd love to collab with some of them. The bronies? In Palm Tree? Working together as one? This needs to happen! Airway have summoned the fleet! Sound effects, heal. Yo, this one goes out to all you ponies acting all wonky and making a big deal out of this. Relax, dudes! I mean, come on, open your ears! We all listen to and dig music, right? Well, then how different can we be? I mean, we'd all be rocking out the same in a pitch black club anyway. Plus, the same song gets old without a little mixing now and then. Trust me, I know. Hear, hear! I agree completely! And there you have it, everypony. The words of DJ Pwn3 herself. Truly an inspiring speech, Miss Vinyl. I sincerely hope that the ponies of Equestria take heed to what's been said today. And if they don't, tell them that Pwn3 will track him down herself and she'll be cranking up the bass! Very well said. Just, uh, one last question for you, Vinyl. I'm sure the listeners of Earth are very curious. Final Scratch, in your opinion, who is Best Brony? Well, hmm. You know, there is this one awesome chick who goes by the name, uh, oh, what was it? No, no, no waking, no whack, so, no whacking, something like that. She, she does a good impression of me, actually. Still nowhere as awesome as the original, but, uh. Well, they do say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. Every pony, remember to tune in to Just Scratching the Surface, starring DJ Pwn3, right here on KPNY Radio. And tune in every week. And also, please remember to check out Air 404's work as well. And, uh, Vinyl, may, may I call you Vinyl? Uh, did I ever tell you about the difference between Progressive House and Dutch House? Oh, oh, and have you ever listened to the Equestrian House Mafia? They're really amazing. Well, not as amazing as you, but... You know, still great, you know. Yeah, it's definitely that time to end the broadcast, so say goodnight to our listeners, Vinyl. Catch you on the flip side, everypony. This is Pwn3 signing out. Sound effects. Uh, okay. Good night, everypony. Oh, oh, the thing. Please do the thing. Please, 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 please. You probably should, or he'll never shut up about it. Oh, all right, all right. Let's spin this. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, 
by the princesses, that was amazing. Thanks once again for showing up, Vinyl. Hey, it's no problem. I'm always willing to show up for a good friend and fight for a good cause. Just to seal the deal, I'll even hook you all up with some backstage passes for my next show. Yes! <laughs> Seriously, I uh, really appreciate what you did today. I guess that's another one I owe you for. Since when were we keeping score, you weirdo? You don't owe me anything. I just have one more question. You've got more inside access to the station than I do. You wouldn't happen to have any idea who poisoned my tea, do you? Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Check it out. Last night I was taking this epic nap in Orange Glow's closet, right? Hey, man, come on, don't give me that look, it's comfy. So anyway, I wake up to hear this strange rumbling, and I'm like, Hey, what's that strange rumbling? I followed the sound to a door leading to the equipment room, and all I found was this. A blue leaf? Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's <clears throat> definitely a poison joke. Are you absolutely sure? Totally has to be. I picked it up with my hooves, right? Well, all day today I've been half deaf in my left ear. It's been a major bummer. Ha, huh, finally a clue. So whoever's behind this has been hanging around the equipment room. That's where the QED is. I'll have Cover Story do a little investigating for me. Thank thanks again, Bob. Anytime, dude. Hoof bump. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. And keep up the good work. So, sound effects. Tell me. Since when did you become an expert on house music? Actually, it was this morning. I scoured Bona Pita doing as much as I could. I was hoping to impress Vinyl with my knowledge. And, uh, I think it worked. She digs me. You realize I haven't left the room yet, right? Oh, uh, hi, Vinyl Scratch. <laughs> Smooth sound effects. Smooth. <laughs> See ya, shrine boy.